Okay. All right. Well, we'll go ahead and uh, get started for the sake of time here. All right. For those of you that are here with us uh, live, thank you for joining us. Um, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. Let's see. Hmm. All right. I'm just going to go slightly out of order for just a minute here uh, because I actually have some intro slides I'd like to go through before we jump to the topics. I do want to stay as far as the topics um, on schedule, just in case people are joining for certain parts or they you know, want to skip around or, or, or whatever and make sure they don't miss their favorite uh, subtopic of colorectal. But I do have some intro slides here. Uh, so let's uh, see here. Views, let's show. So we'll come back to this in a, in a minute as far as the content here. But I just wanted to just a couple slides about the course this, uh, itself and the lectures that we have. Obviously, you guys have already had um, a great morning so far. Um, thank you so much to Dr. Turley and Dr. Bullar. Um, great, great, uh, great talks, great lectures. Um, so thank you to them. Um, uh, but let's talk a little bit uh, about the purpose of this course. So. Um, you know, this is not meant to replace a, you know, year or really even even a month of actual clinical practice. It's not meant to replace your fellowship training. It's not meant to replace a, reading a textbook um, or the, sort of the comprehend, comprehensive knowledge that you would obtain just through living the day-to-day -day life um, practicing. But uh, hopefully we will highlight some areas that if you have some deficiencies that you can remind yourself to further review to solidify concepts that you've already learned. Um, or maybe cover a topic that you don't know as well because your fellowship didn't really see this much of a certain type of operation or a certain type of case. Um, and then obviously our purpose is to review for the test itself. Um, again, this doesn't replace reading a textbook. Um, it does not replace clinical judgment and experience. And again, this is not meant to be, uh, you know, we will. I, I will talk about certain things that I do in my practice, but again, that doesn't mean that that's the only right answer in any given situation. Uh, and as you... Uh, all know when you take a test, uh, sometimes the stem is which is the most correct or which is the first thing uh, you may do or you may order. But in real reality, we know that you may do multiple things all at the same time. So um, just keep that in mind. So um, my experience with the test is that it sort of felt like an abside or a general surgery style questioning, but uh, obviously a higher level of understanding for colorectal specific topics, namely pelvic floor, um, chronic constipation, rectal cancer is a big one, anal cancer, miscellaneous tumors, um, that sort of thing. Interpretation of slides, pictures, radiology, I did feel uh, we, we do know that there's more of that on the colorectal test compared to the general surgery, despite the fact that none of us practicing colorectal surgeons will ever review our own histology slides. Um, regardless, it is still on the test. Um, there is, again, more li very likely to be more than one correct answer, so you have to pick the quote-unquote most, most correct um, there may be some recent topics. This is a kind of a big difference between the general surgery test, where if you get a colorectal topic on the general surgery test, you may have seen that it was sort of basic and they didn't really want to delve into any of the sort of latest uh, NCCN guidelines, especially with regards to rectal cancer, uh, which is seems to be changing every six months here. Um, a small percentage of questions may be testing the test, uh, essentially experimental questions. So if you get something that's very, very recent, in my case, when I took the test, I had some questions that were regarding transanal TME, um, which at that time was was sort of the hottest, uh, newest thing. Um, I suspected that they were testing the test, um, but you know, you know, you never really know. Um, and you guys have all been doing standardized tests your whole life. There's really nothing too special about this one. Um, so common sense test test taking skills, um, uh, of course. All right. So each of these sessions, as you've already experienced so far, are going to be 45 minutes with uh, multiple more or less related topics. Um, there is typically a handful of review questions as well. Hopefully by the end of today, a large breadth of colorectal uh, surgery will be covered in review. Um, depending on our timing, you know, since I'm basically taking the whole rest of the afternoon, we can be a little bit flexible. Some topics may, may drag on a little bit longer than others. Some may be shorter. Um, so we don't, we'll, we'll try to stay within the time constraints for the most part, but again, you know, there may be some 